right? So let me, all right, there we go. All right, so um, you can think of, um, I, I have a few sayings and one of them is um, give a gift and not a burden, right? Uh, and that's often doesn't happen with technology, right? Say, so, oh, here's something new. And you go, oh my goodness, I got to spend all this time learning it now, right? Well, what I'm hopefully going to just show you here a little bit about um, what are the resources that we have within Merlot that can help you really look at alternative resources for teaching your classes. And, uh, and I'll also say is we're not about telling you what to use. We're about giving you more choices so you can decide what would be best for your students. Looks like Jerry froze. He'll be back in a second. But while we're waiting for him to come back, um, Amanda, I put a link in. It's right. So, so Jerry, looking at a library, really, it really Jerry, just expands. Oh, am, I, am I back? I froze. Yeah, you're back. Back. I'm back. Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry, Jerry. I just wanted to say I'm um, putting links into the chat. And Amanda, I put, uh, I did a little search already in Merlot, and I may have found something you can use. And Paul, I'm working on some stuff for you too. Okay. All right. So, so let let me share screen here, and and I'll be um, think of me like like your your tour guide, um, and if you want to, um, if there's anything that. Uh, a gift that you would like, um, just let me know, and uh, and and we we can do a search. So what I'll start off with is just a little bit of overview of what what we have in Merlot here. So here's the you know the homepage Merlot.org, and um, you know we have a Google search thing. You know, type in your keyword. I'll look at how that works. Um, we also have. Um, some advanced search tools. One of them is if you have a textbook that you're using right now, you can type in the ISBN, all right? And then Merlot will find all the free and open educational materials connected with that textbook, right? Um, here's just some background. We have, uh, as I said, almost 100,000 materials, um, almost 200,000 people. Uh, 4,500 institutions are really part of the Merlot community where people are participating in. And, and as, a, as a library, in the last 30 days, over 825 materials, 825 have, have been contributed into this. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later on, we have an English um, uh, community and academic discipline where it just highlights things for you, Amanda. Um, and then we have academic support. I can explain a little bit about what that is, um, tools to help you find stuff. And, and if you want to build open education resources, let's say you, you find you know, a piece of this and a piece of that, of um, whether it's you know, um, fractions in construction, fractions in manufacturing. I'm just making something up real quick, Paul, for example, here. And you want to put them together in a particular way. Merlot has a tool that can allow you to build your own website easily as well as for free within Merlot. So, so, so these are you know, some of the things uh, that, that, that we have here. And I'm gonna begin with a library as big, you know, thinking about, let me just go explore and kind of browse the digital stacks of the library. So, so what you can do right up in the top left-hand corner, there's browse. And, and there's lots of things you can browse, but right now let's just start off with materials, you know, by looking at what's all the stuff and how is it organized, um, you know, within Merlot. So uh, what, what we can look at here when I hit browse, and then when I, I focus on, we organize by disciplines, right? And uh, let me make this just a little bit bigger too. So a little easier to see. So we have academic support, arts, at, you know, business, education, humanities, math, and stat. And you can see the number of materials that we have in each of these areas, a lot in science and technology, social science, workforce development, okay? And so, um, so let's begin with, how about Amanda, I'll just start off with, with you with, you know, you're in the humanities, um, English, 
So I could just click on the, um, and, and so I, I, I look at these as uh, what I'm doing is I'm going into a physical library and then I'm gonna go into the stacks and say, okay, the first floor has the humanities stuff on it, right? And then as I look down here and here are all the topic areas in the humanities that we have. So American studies, oh, there's English, history, um, women, gender studies, world languages, stuff like that, okay? So then I can say, okay, let's, and, and we have comparative literature and classics and English. So I said, well, let me start off with English so I can click on this. And now you can see we've gone from 100,000. Now here's 2,170 materials just focused in on, on, uh, on English. And then I can get into literature, right? So, so I, I walk to the first floor, then I go to the first row, and now I'm going to beginning to look at the shelves within the library. So now I'm in literature and here's drama, poetry, prose fiction, prose nonfiction, all right? So, so Amanda, can you see how, you know, we're kind of walking through the library to begin to find these type of things? Yeah. Okay, and then, the next thing, but before we narrow down any further on particular topic areas, what I'm also looking on the left-hand side is what are all the types of materials that are available in this area, right? And you know, one of the things you can say, oh, look, there's 235 open textbooks. Here's some presentations that we have. Here's some reference materials. Oh, here's some tutorials. So a lot of these are, are little different things, different types of materials that you can use in teaching and learning. So, you know, for example, uh, a tutorial could be something and I click on that and it, it that might be a kind of something you can, if you wanna flip your classroom a little bit and have your students do work independent, you know, at home, they can then just follow through on, a, uh, on doing a tutorial that, that, that might be interesting. And so, and I, I'm just, I'll, I'll just pick something here. Okay, I, you know, um, I didn't know what, what you were, what your interest areas are. So I could just click on this to see what's here. And so here's a little description of um, ages of English timeline. Um, and, uh, and these are the topic areas. And I'll just show you, in Merlot, we have editorial boards. For example, there's an English editorial board that has peer reviewed it. We'd also let users who are Merlot members and it's free to join. To my comments, and I'll show a little bit here, bookmark collections, I can talk about that too as well. It's basically an ability for you to create your own digital bookshelf for yourself. Um, and, and now, one of the things about Merlot is it's actually um, like a library catalog and, and the stacks are where websites all around the world. So that's by going to the material, you basically now going to a BBC website and here's the resources about, you know, the, you know, British timeline and here's some information about it. So, so what Merlot, helps you do, and, and here's a view a non-flash version of it, stuff like that. So, you know, it, it helps you find all that stuff that's out there in the world that have been identified by educators as being something useful. And one of the things you can see, this was created by uh, the BBC, and Susan Frey is a member of Merlot, and she kind of added it to the Merlot collection. So, and, and so we can say, oh, who's Susan, right? And okay, oh, she's a coordinator, strategic initiatives in the library. Um, she looks like she's at Indiana State. So just to give you a sample of, so that um, how the stuff in here gets um, created in, in our library, it's members of the, of the education community who, uh, who have found stuff and said, ah, let me make it easier for other people to find, okay? And if, if you like what Susan found, he created there, added there, well, she's submitted 
20, 39 other materials. She's authored something. She's written comments and she has bookmark collections. So just to, again, what I'm trying to give you a sense of is Merlot as a community of educators who are working together to share the resources and you too, when you create things or if you found things that you want to share, you can also add them to as well. All right. So if I bookmark something or, you know, mark it in some way to save it, am I able to like share that list of what I have saved with colleagues in my department, people who might teach this course after me, or do I have to then put it into that website tool you showed at the very beginning? No. Um, and, and so that's what the bookmark collection lets you do. And here, I'll, I'll click on that since you asked the question. So so here, let, let me just go, go back for a second. So, so here's the ages of English timeline and bookmark collection says 11 people have taken this resource and in a sense, put it on their personal bookmark shelf, a digital shelf within Merlot. So, so when I click on this, I can see, well, what did, you know, what are, are these things that people put together, right? And so here's um, here's the the different collections that 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 are around here, and and you want to just pick one um, British history. How, how about that? I'll just is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so so here, so when when we look at this, um, Amanda um, didn't score. Okay. Um, put together 20 materials that related to um, British literature and British materials. Okay, so here's the ages of English timeline, right? So she's created this collection of resources and guess what? Right at the top here, that URL, that's a stable URL. So after, Amanda, you, you know, you, you, you might want to create your own, you know, bookshelf bookmark collection, right? Then you can just pop that URL right into your Canvas course and say, students, oh, here's my British stuff, or here's my poetry things, or here's my, um, my uh, nonfiction prose material. So, so Merlot is a way for you to curate your own material and then make it easy access for your students to link to it. Okay, was that helpful there, Amanda? Yes. Okay. Now, one of the things you could say, well, who's this other Amanda? And let, let's click on it. And she's a librarian. And so she's organized this stuff, right? And where is she? She's, oh, she's at Cal State Fresno. All right. Um, so, so here's, so she's organized it. And you might say, hmm, you know, I have, I teach British history. And, um, and, and literature. So maybe this might be useful. Um, instead of me going finding the 20 things, see this little icon over here, it looks like, you know, two sheets of paper. What I can do is I can just click on that button and it will copy Amanda's collection of materials and connect it with my profile or who I am in Merlot. So it's like sharing playlists of music. Now we're sharing playlists of instructional materials, okay? Now, it's not only you among your colleagues that you can do, Amanda, in, in the course where they can say, oh, Amanda's organized this stuff, great. You know, and you're a full-time faculty, you, you know, you just hire an adjunct faculty and they say, oh, what am I gonna do? You, they can say, go to Merlot, become a member, it's all free to do click on your button and now I've just given you a copy of all the materials that I found in Merlot that you can then use in your teaching. Okay. So, so, so these are again, tools that we can help you find things, help you organize things for you in a very easy way. All right. And, um, uh, and then share it as well. And, 
And if you want to, you know, for example, you know, if you want to create your own bookmark collection, it's really simple. You just click on the link and you can create a bookmark collection. And I got a bunch of them and I said, uh, do I want to add it to one that I already have? So you can see, you know, I've created a bunch of things or I can just say, you know, what? nope, I, I think I'm going to want to uh, add, create a new one. So then I just kick, create a new bookmark collection. I say, you know, uh, Jerry's uh, Brit Lit. And I can say, you know, whatever that might be, blah, 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 blah. And then I can create this. It's now putting the timeline of English literature and it's added to my bookmark, Jerry's Brit Lit. Okay. So hopefully you can see how easy it is um, to create these um, curated collections and then share it with your students or with your other colleagues. Okay, all right. Was that was that helpful, Amanda? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Now, other things that that we also have in Merlot, and and Paul, I haven't forgotten about you. All the things that I'm describing, we can go into math and do all the same thing too. Um, and and I'll, I'll get over to math in in a minute here. The other thing, what Merlot automatically does as well, is to say. Oh, I, I found ages of English timeline. That's one thing, but what about, is there other stuff out there? And, um, and the other thing, this is like the Amazon tool, you know, people who, who bought this shirt also like buy, or also bought these things, right? So this is people who looked at this material also looked at a guide to grammar and writing or the evolution of language or uh, font, uh, um, uh, I should, I'm blanking on the, uh, sorry, Jerry, I, I lost you too. Nope, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, so just so, so here is you can say, oh, you know, other people have looked at this and, oh, let me look at, you know, grammar and writing. And then I can take a peek. Oh yes, that's right. I'm going away. And then here's guide to grammar and writing. And I can, Say, what about sentence and word structure? And I want to know about adverbs, all right? So here's all these resources that, that then you can um, bring to your students. You can see this material was bookmarked 262 times. So what you can think, this is like a citation index. A lot of people are using it. And so that might be worth looking at. It also has won a Merlot Classics Award too as well. All right, so, so the, the materials that we produce in Merlot not only helps you find one of the things, but also what have other people have found useful um, in, uh, um, in, this, um, in the collection as well, all right? All right, and, and, and what we just looked at there was just tutorials, right? So if I wanna go back, oh, let me, I, I remember there being a lot of open free textbooks. I can click on that. And now here's all the free and open textbooks, right? And then I might say, oh, let me just look for the drama ones. Beginner's Guide to Shakespeare, English literature, right? So here are different resources um, that are available for you to look at here, okay? So hopefully you can begin to say, you know, from the 100,000 materials that I can actually um, narrow down to a smaller set and I can begin to evaluate. All right, so, before I go into anything new, um, the next part of Berlo's uh, services, um, uh, Paul or Amanda, any questions that you have about how Merlo is works?
um uh, yeah i saw the those links on like how to create a bookmark collection um would you mind just going through how you do that no problem at all okay and and let's go um let, let's go into math okay let, let, let's all right and so here um again i'm browsing and so i go math and stat i can click on this and then um let's say i i, I want to focus in on mathematics right and then here are all the um, different topic areas that we have in math. And so how about I'll, I'll do um, general and liberal arts math. How does that sound? Is that okay, Paul? Or, or applied math? No, no, probably not, probably not applied math. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that. That's another class I teach. Uh, the liberal applied arts. math? Or uh, yeah, either one. Yeah. Okay, all right, uh, uh, here. Uh, yeah. I'll just pick, I'll pick the, the general yeah, that's fine. Because it's um, there are more items here. So, so here, um, and and notice, um, oh, let me. So, so here's now all the areas in so consumer mathematics, history of math. So you can see how we go into recreational math. So let's say you want to do, or oh, I want to do consumer math stuff, right? And so here's our the set of materials, and you know here's an online course. There's quizzes and there's simulations and tutorials, right? So this gives you again sense of sense of activity. And so I might say, let me just look at, you know, uh, the simulations can help people engage in certain activities. So here's adding apples, oranges, and pears, right? And and here I can go to uh, and and now to show you how to create your own bookmark collection. So here's the go to the material where you can go look at that. And here's the link right here. It says bookmark, um, add. Um, so you can bookmark this or you can add it to a, a bigger thing that's called a course portfolio. But the key is you just click on, on that link. And, um, and then, you know, I, I have a bunch of bookmark collections here. But what, what, what you can do then is say, oh, I want to create a new one. Uh, this is going to be for, you know, um, uh, liberal arts math. And then I can just click on that, put your title. Uh, okay. You know, lib a, a math and, and however you want to describe it. And then you can say this is, you know, I might be teaching uh, math uh, you know, 101 class uh blah 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 right so 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 you then can put all the descriptions you can label things and make it your own um and then you can create create it so now it's creating um a digital bookshelf in merlot that's yours and uh, and then it's added this one material to it now and and if i went to went to my profile so as you can see all right here's the bookmark collection right math 101 class remember that i just created just now right oh, okay. yeah. all right so so there there it is all right so and and then that that url okay um that, that i had for the bookmark collection would have um here i'll just go go back here uh, here's my bookmark collection. This URL right here at the top, that's where you can stick it in your Canvas course and have your students here uh, for, you know, chapter for the chapter one we want to cover. Here are some of the assignments or resources I'd like you to use. Okay. All right. Hey, let me ask you one more question. Um, sure. Um, so my uh, what I'm 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 kind of specifically working on is um, this this career technical math course we have um, we're 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 kind of teaching it like kind of like a physics class like it has a has a two credit part of it that's that's like a kind of a traditional math course and we have a textbook actually we're using for that a Pearson textbook 
But then, then we have a lab, we call it a lab, and it meets twice a week for like an hour and 50 minutes. And in that lab, we do, um, we do like a hands-on kind of a application of the math. And, and, and uh, so we're, so what I'm really looking for is uh, kind of uh, a lab, applied math activities uh, or um, uh, lab uh, or, or uh, even projects like mini projects or something. But anyway, you know, really where they apply the math, do something hands-on, they were maybe work in small teams and it's like an activity that takes, it can take the whole class period, just one activity uh, maybe that's already designed um, and, or, and it could take even two class periods. So um, specifically, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm not really looking for textbooks, career technical math books. I'm, I'm looking for uh, maybe uh, activities like that, sets of lab activities like that, of applied math activities. So I don't know if you could help me on, if you could help me find those, that's that's what I'm, I'm, I'm mainly going to focus on in my search. So Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I think what you want are simulations. It's called, okay, simulations. Okay. Right, right. So, okay. Yep, yep. Because, because, and, and I'll show you a few things um, too, is we also have, I'll show you our, uh, our virtual labs um, course too. Uh, we have a whole portal on, on virtual labs and we have stuff in math. Okay, so we have that, that too. All right, so here is, um, and, and I just, uh, you know, th this is, the topic area is general and liberal arts math. Okay. So, so here's the, you know, 53 materials uh, that are simulations. And oh, so, so this is, um, you know, a drawing program that transforms into symmetrical, re you know, and it probably has some, um, you know, you know, information about how it translates into math and here. And one of the things that you can look at is, you know, what did other people say about it and things along those lines, people write, make comments around it. Um, and uh, so here's Sally here, a student. I spent 30 minutes exploring this creatively interactive site um, on Escher, the artist. What a fantastic way to show the relationship between math, geometry, and art, right? Okay. So, so this is, so by choosing simulations, I think is where you're going to get the kind of stuff, Paul, that, 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 that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I'll, I'll show you too is, um, uh, well, uh, let, let, let me kind of do two things. First, I'll show you in the in this community side. A lot of times, Merlot, it's a big library of all different stuff. And if you only want to focus on on your things, um, we've create we have editorial boards that are that curate their own collection. So, um, Amanda, we have English here. Okay. So uh, I'll just hit this one. And so here is um, welcome to the English portal. You're invited to contribute. They showcase, they say, here's some, you know, the best of the best type of stuff. You can get right at the, the language and literature type things. What's new that was just added? Who are new people who just joined in English? We have, you know, links to professional organizations, journals, and we have Twitter feeds and Google alerts too as well. Just kind of things that help you uh, keep abreast of what's going on in your discipline. We're trying to make that convenient there for you, okay? So, so we have uh, an English, and then we also have math. Oh, I just, there, in, in mathematics. So, so Amanda, you have the English one, and, and here, Paul, um, here, here's the one in math. And, um, you know, again, the, the same type of thing, uh, type of resources of, available. So those are your academic discipline communities. And what I'm getting to is your, we also have, we call them our academic support communities. So some things like faculty development or ICT literacy or mobile learning or, uh, pedagogical strategies or, and here where I'm getting to Paul is our virtual labs. 
because virtual labs go across a lot of disciplines. And so here's a whole portal just around kind of virtual labs. And we have stuff, biology, chemistry, physics, and oh, here's some math stuff. Okay. So um, we have um, FET labs. This is out of the University of Colorado. Great, exciting things that they have. And, and these are other uh, math tools um, that are available as well. Um, and, and in the, so here's, they have 42 simulations of math. So uh, hopefully, you know, Paul, have, have you seen any of these at, from the FET collection? I don't, I don't think so. I don't All think right. I have, no. Okay, so uh, I'll just say um, it is, uh, it's a really cool website. Got, so if you wanna look at probability, um, and, and I'm just pulling the, 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 this one up as, as a, um, you know, example. So, you know, what people can do is uh, I want to, you know, uh, drop them all at the same time, right? And, um, I, I'm, and, and here is, I've actually never used this. So, uh, you know, I'm making this up as I'm going. And so now here's, okay, what happens if you drop all of them all at once? And then you you know you're going to see a normal distribution emerge over time on this right. So so this could be something, and then you can say, well, let's let's look at this, and what happens if I, you know, if I do this again, right? I want to restart. You know, am I going to get, you know, the same distribution all the time, or is there a randomness that that's going to occur? And then you know, if you wanted to, they can have them count up. How many balls are in each one of the columns and how does it change over time and blah, 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 like that. So is this kind of getting closer to what you're looking for, Paul? Yeah, yeah, that's helpful, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so, so, that, so that's just the, uh, you know, a probability one. And, and if you wanna find, you know, other ones, um, you know, in, in all of math, you know, once you find one, then you can look at a lot of other, these are all the ones in math, ratio, proportion, number line, da, da, da. And all these are really, it's a lot of fun. Um, they, 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 they do some th fun things. And, and the one I'll, I'll, I'll highlight, um, if you wanna engage people um, in um, understanding projectile motion, right? Just so, you know, you fight a cannon, and you can decide um, what do you want to what do you want to shoot out of the cannon? You know, a pumpkin, a piano, a car. So you can have a little fun, right? Do you want to change the air resistance? Um, you know, what are all the things you want? And then do you want to change you know the angle? And then go ahead and initial speed. I want to speed it up, and then boom! I want to shoot the car, right? So. They, you know, and then you say, oh, how, how do I help, you know, get get to my target? Oh, let me try again. Oh, it's a little closer, right? So is, is this helpful again, Paul, just to show you the type of animations that Merlot helps you find easily? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those animations, yeah, like as a teaching tool. Right. And, and, and um, yeah, and I was also, uh, well, um, yeah, I was also trying to find like um, just also some activities they could do, like work on a kind of a something in a group, you know, where they have to use the math to maybe yeah. solve some kind of a problem or something too. Like, I guess uh, kind of do, do they have like a lesson plan like categories, like less activities that are lesson plans, like where they where they. Um, um, you know, they yeah. outline, okay, first five minutes, you do this, next 15 minutes, do this, uh, work on groups on this, and then maybe at the end, ask questions, and you know, do they have things like that, like, more like sets of lesson plans, I guess is what I'm asking for, for like yeah. an activity that could take the entire class? Yep, so or what would that be, stuff like that, would that? Yep, so, so in Merlot, we have materials, and then you can find people, Learning exercises is kind of like lesson plans, okay? 
Oh, okay. All right. Then you have, you know, the bookmark collections, right? So let's just hit, let's say, I want to look at learning exercises. And, and you can see here, learning exercises in all of Merlot, we only have 1,600 of them, right? <laughs> so there's not a, as many of those. We have 93 of them in, in math. And so understanding measurement, right? And I'll, I'll, I'm just going to pick one here for a second, okay? I, you know, again, no idea. So here's, um, here's a learning uh, exercise. Um, they're giving you resources, who the audience is, any technical notes. You can see here's the learning uh, on the right-hand side, uh, learning objectives, the requirements, you know, gives you, you know, how do you make some assessment? So it gives you just some, um, you know, again, I, I just pulled this up as it uses the visualization toolkit and it's telling you how to use it okay so i i think on this one you're probably going to want to um just just look at um you know here's a learning exercise for particular um uh you know activities of you know cost of recycling and, and I'm, I'm just um i'm exploring here with you too at the same time so let's see what what we have here just Here's the Jerry, exercise display, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yeah, Jerry, I just wanted to mention that um, I put a link in the chat for a whole collection of lesson plans. Let's see how many are there in Merlot. There are 45 of them, but uh, Paul, I think you're gonna find that some of those are not gonna be um, applicable, but some probably will because it's developmentally, speaking so um you know, you'll kind of have to pick and choose but they'll there will be at least some nice formatting there that you can play around with and um, take a look and see what other people are are doing around some of the topic areas that you like okay all right okay, now thank you yeah, yeah thanks and and this is going to be both for amanda and for and for paul um in part paul you, you you're not you're saying you know i i don't need the content but what I need is really the educational practice or the pedagogy of how am I going to teach with these things, right? And um, and so Merlot has uh, uh, a a portal just focused on we call it's called open educational practices, and and the way we've captured these are with faculty. Um, creating e-portfolios that describe how they're teaching the course, okay? And so, and what, what I'm gonna do here is, maybe I'll start off with, here's something, how can I redesign the course with, um, with technology? And it sounds like, you know, you have a lab course. And now here is, um, here are the different topic areas. And so my, I might wanna click on math, and so here's someone who <clears throat> tells a story of how they flip the, you know, the, their, their calculus too, or problem solving in pre-calculus, right? Or uh, a problem solving approach, pre active learning, um, active learning, engaged learning. So I'm, it looks like, maybe I'll just take the, the pre-calculus course here, just to show you an example here. So here's someone, uh, Shannon Lanahan, um, and so she's describing the course. And what, what I'm going to get at here is, is Paul, that she's saying, here's the background on why I'm redesigning the course. Um, here's a little history behind it, um, other information. Here's you know, some of the you know, challenges we're having with placement of students and how do we get them into calculus in various ways. Who about our students? I'm going on the left-hand side here. Um, you know, uh, advice I give my students to be successful. So she's telling her story about what she's trying to do and the learning outcomes she's trying to have. The oops, oops sorry, the assessments. Um, and here's Shannon. If you want to talk to her, you can talk with her too. Now, on the right-hand side here. All right. Uh, this is where Shannon talks about 
what did she actually do? Goal-based grading, problem solving. So there might be stuff in here um, about um, how she did it, what she did, and, and it's also what's the benefits that occurred um, for, uh, for students and you know, did their a percent of a student earning a C or better in the redesigned nurses non-redesigned course, right? So, you know, it looks like it had a, the redesigned course, more students um, got a C or better in a course that it looks like many of them were failing the first time. And so here's some student feedback. So, so this could be teaching tips. So, that, so there can be stuff in here, um, Paul, that can help you um, get ideas about what might be lesson plans that, that, that might work for you, okay? All right, what, was that helpful, Paul? Yeah, yes, yeah, thank you. Okay, now, and, and what I'm gonna show you, point out here is, see right at the bottom here, this is um, a, and think of it like a logo that's telling you what license or what permission you have to use everything that Shannon created. And, and this CC is called a Creative Commons license, right? And that's telling, and, and the buy here, and you see it's like a little person, and, and it says, you can use anything that Shannon created there, right? You can copy and paste it. And all you need to do is when you create what's called a derivative work, you create your own stuff based on what Shannon did. All you need to do is in a sense, put in the footnote that you have used materials that you've ob obtained from Shannon Langahan in your new work, right? So it's just, you know, like we do in, in all referencing when we're referencing other people's work. So, so all this stuff that you see in open educational practices, right? The openness is saying, look at what I did and you're welcome to reuse it and revise it for yourself so it works and just recognize my contributions into your practices, okay? All right. Um, let's see, uh, how about, um, Amanda, should, should I go to English here? Would that be helpful? Um, I'm not sure that the e-portfolio would be as helpful for me. Okay, all right. So, so let's go back to, um, uh, oh, all right. is there something else you, you would like me to, Go for for you, Amanda. Um, I, I I think if 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 I get you right, um, that I think if um, how do we find more materials, right? How about that? Okay, uh, let, let me do this English. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I, I I know what I'll do. Hang on. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the do the browse thing again. Let's say we go browse materials, okay? And because uh, what I'm gonna show you next is if Merlot doesn't have it, what do you do then, right? Well, Merlot help, can help you find things. So remember we, we went to, so I'm browsing through, just going through again. So we're gonna go to English, right? And then we're gonna go to literature. So we click on literature, right? And, and now you say, oh, you know, I didn't find anything I, you know, I wanted here. Um, and um, but, uh, yeah, uh, let, let, let me stop here. So uh, what else is out there? You know, Merlot's not the only collection. Well, that's exactly right. And, but what we've done in Merlot is you say, what are other libraries and what do they have? So Merlot searches simultaneously about 80 other open libraries at the same time. So if you want to know more stuff, right? If you want to say, oh, in English literature, for example, um, how about um, 
the SUNY system, right? The State University of New York. So I can just click on that. And then I then by that one click, it'll then go look in that collection and then come up with here are the resources that are in English and it's still cranking away. I'm I'm at home in my you know home network. So so here are four materials that SUNY has about literature, humanities, and human humanities and humanity. And then I can say, oh, let me go look at that, right? Or what I can find more information about it. Here's a description of it. It's gotten peer reviewed. Oh boy, this is this might be helpful, right? So when Merlot doesn't have it, you can also look at all these other collections. Uh, you know, you might want to say, well, how about MIT Open Courseware? All right, so now here's a um, hundred materials in MIT Open Courseware, liter you know, literary studies, the legacy of England, right? And then I can say, oh, let me go see what that is. I'm leaving Merlot website. And now here I am at MIT. Here are assignments, short papers. And, and actually, you know, um, Paul, um, open courseware is gonna have more these type of assignments in them. So that might be a place where, where you can go to MIT open courseware and look for um, the assignment side of stuff, okay? So is, is this is this helpful, um, Amanda saying, okay, here I can look at MIT open courseware, what's the readings that they use, blah, blah, blah. Is that helpful? She, she says yes. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So you have MIT Open Courseware. Um, the other thing, too, what you can do in here, you can say, um, I maybe I only want certain Creative Commons license things. So I only want things with CC BY because I want to be able to revise and remix it. And so here's the five materials with that. So just to give you a, a sense, there's lots of ways to narrow down the type of materials um, that you have, and you can narrow it down by licensing as well, okay? So I can filter it, not filter, I could just get anything that's out there, all right? Now, one last thing I can say, well, What's out on the web in general? Is there new stuff that might not have been put in the library? Now Merlot, instead of going to Google, right? And, and if you typed in English literature in Google, I'm guessing that um, in the top, um, you know, uh, three hit lists, it's not gonna be um, the UCI School of Humanities, English and Digital Humanities and lit Literature Humanities at Columbia University, right? Um, and, and, and the reason for that is what we've done in Merlot, we've created a special Google search application that looks for material that are more relevant for faculty and education, not the general public. So, so that's what the web search does here. Okay. So I just realized we're at the top of the hour. Ah, and and Greg, I didn't get to do um, skills commons. So may, maybe we might just have to do that another time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or I can definitely um, refer people to the video from yesterday where you covered it. So that's great. Um, and Paul, that if you're doing like different applied topics for C different CTE classes for Math 118 Skills Commons, a good place to go, skillscommons.org. Yeah, you, you know what I'll do? If you, if you don't not mind, Paul, I'll, I'll do a, um, a lightning fast. Um, so skillscommons.org. And then if you typed in uh, math, right, here are, um, 
466 math materials. Um, and it, you know, it, it could be related to developmental education, um, manufacturing, petroleum products, um, wholesale trade, motor vehicle parts, um, things like that. And, and what, what you can do is I'll just, I'm just gonna click on something, right? Um, and here is what's the math things related to petroleum and coal products. And, um, and so what's in Merlot here, and here's our, how do I plan, I'm just looking at here, here's the type of materials are planning, uh, pl you know, program planning resources, resource materials and, and guidance on grants. Um, if I may wanna look at here, assignments, maybe I'll do that, Paul. Type of material, here are assignments um, in math. Um, and so here are um, more specific things around and again, I'll just pick one, uh, the math modules. So here is um, module two fractions. You actually can download the, uh, the Word document. Uh, it's opening up right now. And, uh, and so th this is probably more of a um, classroom assignment. Uh, it's just running slow for me so right now. So I apologize. So, so here's a, oh, from, uh, Missouri math wins. Um, so here's a, uh, um, you know, like a handout. This is probably more what you're looking for. Paul? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right. So, so real quick, it's all I did was um, I typed in, went to skillscommons.org. Typed in math, mm -hmm. right? And then um, the material type is going to be assignments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. All right. So I hope you got something out of today, Paul and Amanda, that will make your life just a little bit easier as you're working on your Z degree program. Thank you. Oh, you're you're very welcome. And um, and uh, Greg again, and 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 it, um, you can let all your faculty know that we're here to help support. So if you have questions, you can just email us up about something. And if you need a little refresher about things, um, just let us know. I'll have both of those videos up on YouTube probably by the end of the week for you. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Jerry. Thanks, Maria. Um, we appreciate you taking the time to walk us through these things. Our pleasure. All right. Well, take care. Ha later. Have a good rest of the week. Yes, Bye. you too. Bye. Bye-bye.